Hello friends, welcome back. Hearty welcome to you. Let us look at this interesting example. We have to find out the sum of coefficients of x power 9 in the polynomial whose first term is x plus 1 into x plus 2 into x plus 3 up to x plus 10 and the second term is given by x plus 2 into x plus 3 up to x power 11 like that we have 11 terms of this polynomial the 11th term will start with x plus 11 and into x plus 2 up to x plus 20 we have to find out the sum of coefficients of x power 9 in this given polynomial now to solve this problem what we will do is first we'll try to understand how a term of this polynomial looks like and what will be the terms of that polynomial this the term itself is a polynomial so we can find out this and see in this polynomial what will be the terms which will have x power 9 and what are the coefficients of them then if you are able to find out first term what is the coefficients of x power 9 then we should be able to arrive at a pattern and this problem should become easy to solve so let's go ahead and first write down what is our first term of the polynomial can I go ahead and write down the first term of the polynomial is x plus 1 multiply with x plus 2 multiply with x plus 3 multiply with x plus 4 multiply with x plus 5 multiply with x plus 6 multiply with x plus 7 multiply with x plus 8 and multiply with x plus 9 and that we have to multiply with x plus 10 this is the first term of the polynomial now what is the highest power if you try to take this term of the polynomial and expand this what will be the highest power we will get that is x power 10 but what we want is coefficients of x power 9 so what should we do in that case in that scenario what we have to do is we have to take 9 terms where we multiply x x x 9 times so that we'll have x power 9 that we have to multiply with the left out term constant so that first let us say suppose I have taken these 9 x x x I multiplied I got x power 9 that I have to multiply with 10 similarly I can take all these 9 terms x power 9 then I have to multiply with 1 so what we understood is the terms whatever we have here which are having x power 9 will be like this x power 9 into first time the constant term can be 1 second time the constant term can be 2 next time it can be 3 like that I have to go up to 10 so this is how the x power 9 term looks into looks like when we take this particular polynomial let me explain again we need coefficients of x power 9 if we multiply them we get x power 10 the highest the degree of this is x power 10 we want x power 9 means what I have to do all x terms I have to multiply 9 times so that I will have x power 9 then I have to multiply with that with the constant of the remaining term so I can take any 9 of this I have to multiply with the other constant term let us say suppose I have taken all this 9 terms I have to multiply with 1 suppose other than 3 I have taken all the 9 terms then I have to multiply with 3 so if you look at the x power 9 the term which is having x power 9 it will have coefficients will be like 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 up to 10 so that is equal to we can simplify this x power 9 into this is arithmetic progression I know there are 10 terms so I can write down 10 by 2 into first term plus last term that is 1 plus 10 so which is 5 into 11 55 x power 9 so or can I say the x power 9 coefficient in the first term of the given polynomial is 55 
now let's go to the second term and see apply the same logic and see what happens the second term of the given polynomial will start from x plus 2 and will be product of x plus 2 x plus 3 into x plus 4 like that will go up to x plus 11 now the same logic we can apply in this case what will happen the x power 9 term will be x power 9 into 2 plus 3 plus 4 up to 11 so in that case the coefficient will be there are again 10 terms so 10 by 2 into we are trying to find out the sum of 2 up to 11 it's an arithmetic progression so 10 by 2 into first term plus last term that's equal to 10 by 2 into 2 plus 11 that is 13 which is equal to 65 now if you do for the third term I'm sure pretty sure that you will get 75 so you can see that there is a pattern here the first one the coefficient of x power 9 is 55 and in the second one it is 65 and the third one it is 75 so we have an arithmetic progression going there so we know 11 terms are there and we know it is an arithmetic progression starting with 55 with a common difference of 10 so we can easily find out the sum of these coefficients so let's go to the next step so the coefficients of x power 9 for the given polynomial the first one is 55 second one is 65 third one is 75 like that we have 11 terms because we are starting with x plus 1 and we are going up to x plus 11 that means there are 11 terms now we can find out the sum of this pretty easily we can do s of n equal to n by 2 into 2a plus n minus 1 into d or if you find out the last term you can directly do n by 2 into a plus l also now 11 by 2 into 2 into a that is 110 plus n minus 1 that is 10 into d that's equal to 10 so simplify this you will have 11 by 2 into 110 plus 100 that is 210 which is equal to 11 into 105 which is equal to 1100 and 55 so our answer is option D which is 1155 let's have a recap of this problem what we have been asked we have been asked to find out the sum of coefficients of x power 9 in the given polynomial now how this polynomial looks this polynomial have 11 terms the first term is product of x plus 1 up to x plus 10 the second term is product of x plus 2 up to x plus 11 like that the last term is product of x plus 11 into x plus x plus 11 x plus 2 up to x plus 20 now what we have done we have taken the first term and try to identify what will be the coefficient of x power 9 now since we have 10 we have 10 terms here x plus 1 up to x plus 10 the max power we can go is x power 10 but we are interested in x power 9 to get x power 9 term I have to take 9 of these 10 terms and I have to multiply with the constant of the remaining term so that constant value can be 1 2 3 4 or any one of them up to 10 that means the coefficients of x power 9 in this particular term is sum of 1 2 3 up to 10 which is equal to 55 same logic we applied for the second one we got that that is equal to 65 then obviously the third one will be 75 we can check that that means we see another arithmetic progression here where we have 11 terms the first one is 55 second one is 65 third is 75 up to 11 terms now we can find out what is the coefficients of x coefficient of x power 9 in the last term or we know there are 11 terms so we can apply the formula sn equal to n by 2 into 2a plus n minus 1 into d we have a equal to 55 and we know common difference equal to 10 so the sum of coefficients of x power 9 in the given polynomial is 11 by 2 into 110 plus 10 into 10 
which is equal to 1155 and our option is option D which is the right answer there.